Have no fear, fellow citizens. The mediator is here. Good morning and many blessings to you this holiday season. Welcome to this week's edition of The Mediator with me, your host, Brian West, here to give you the top eight headlines and developing news stories that made it in this week. Now, as usual, I'll give you the top eight local headlines and developing news stories that made it first. Then we may do a movie clip, a skit, a trailer, or something that's going on in the community, or maybe some pictures. And then I'll give you the top eight international headlines and developing news stories that made it in this week. So let's waste no time. Oh, yeah. Let's get to it. Story number one, how will Ohio manage its method of capital punishment? Big, big headline. The last lethal injection that took place in Ohio was on the 18th day of July in 2018. But now the cost to find lethal drugs while also pointing out the fact that former Republican House Speaker Larry Householder is under federal indictment. Uh, Governor De Mike DeWine may have to step back his plans for capital punishment or if he had any plans. Mahoney County Prosecutor Paul Gaines says that the governor needs to get together with other lawmakers to fix this problem. After the killing of a child in Struthers, uh, this story highlights the growing concerns surrounding the discussions about capital punishment here in Ohio. It may also be good to note that Ohio does have a history of botched ex execution. Story number two. No pay raises for now. According to one local report, it has been 13 years since the law and finance directors have received a pay raise. Now, at the moment, the mayor has proposed a 15 percent pay raise for both the law and finance director in Youngstown. Due to COVID-19, the city has had to reconsider financial spending and budget goals for 2020. This article highlights the recent financial conditions of the city while also pointing out how the city will recover from COVID-19. That is why this article made it in this week. It, it is very clear that the, that the surrounding communities will either have to do more with less, which will require sacrifice, or less with less, which will require a little being done, but there will be less done around the city if you understand what i mean with less and doing more come sacrifice with little and little there's not a lot getting done so that's why story number two made it in this week. story number three local casinos and racinos have been losing money gambling uh new reports in say that revenue of ohio's four casinos were down in november Wagering in Austin Town Racinos also plummeted. Now, although gambling is a tough habit to break, it is a cash cow. It brings in the big bucks for the state. Now, Ohio's four Racinos pulled in $1 billion in October. Casinos also brought in $59.5 million in October also. Now, what got this story in this week is growing data center is the growing data centered around America's spending habits. Now that the money is down at each facility and the food banks are crowded there is one thing certain this holiday season and that is that either way the money has to come from somewhere some but from somebody around the holidays rather rich poor uh, hungry or or on a full stomach the story is developing because of the fact that the money has to come from somewhere and if it ain't coming from the casinos or the government and that means somebody with the money is going to have to pay up. Story number four, the fight to win against COVID-19 may last through 2021. Local jobs have been lost. Case numbers have been up and down. The government has been leaking out cash and food banks have been crowded. Those are facts. It is clear that the decisions made to combat this virus have driven every American out of their comfort zone. Even with science making advancements, people are still skeptical about the health care industry. In a story filled with state mandates and business collapses, it is clear that, local, that, that locally the fight to win against COVID-19 will last through all of 2021. Keep an eye on story number four. I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. Story number five. 
Some local communities see shortages in EMS workers, emergency workers. Hubbard, like many other districts, are seeing the need for emergency workers. Hubbard plans to establish its own EMS service. CARES Act funding has made the health care industry an essential business, with many hospitals and nursing facilities leaking cash brought in from the federal government to assist in this crisis. Uh, not only has COVID-19 pointed out every weakness plaguing the health care system, but it has also pointed out the need for more EMS workers story number six some locals seek public utilities commission seat they want a job three local applicants want a shot at the ohio public utilities commission seat sean o'brien uh, Michael Verich and Judy French. The Public Utilities Commission regulates a variety of Ohio's public utilities. The list includes electricity, natural gas, pipelines, heating and cooling, telephone services, waterworks, wastewater, railroads, household good ca goods carriers, towing companies, water transportation, hazardous material carriers, and commercial transportation carriers, according to the commissioner to, to the commission's website. Now, to have this job filled by someone locally would really give the state some understanding of what it's like to what it's like for struggling residents having to make ends meet to pay their bills. That is what got. Well, that is what bumped this story up. Now, in the center of a crisis, people have been having a hard time paying the bills. Sam Randazzo uh, resigned. Uh, November 20th after the FBI raided his house. Story number seven in the top two local headlines and developing news stories that made it in this week. Ooh -wee. PPP loans were job savers locally. Although PPP loans were a job saver, many local businesses may be applying for more money. COVID-19 crushed the local business community and left them with no choice but to seek government help. With money slowly dwindling away and everyone searching for light at the end of a long tunnel that lasted a whole year, the question now is what will the next stimulus bring uh, to keep local businesses alive? Now, another question is uh, also is, will local residents be healthy enough and brave enough to work even if there is a job still there for them? <laughs> story number eight in the top local headline and developing news story that made it this week. How do locals view the business and legal system in Ohio? One developing story to keep an eye on is community relations. There have been multiple stories circulating providing details about why morale has been so low locally for some time. There are views on display about the business and legal system that often go unnoticed because most of these stories don't make headlines or gain mass media attention. For years, residents have had the vision of a shining city on the hill. But what got this story to the top this week is the simple fact that COVID-19 has really highlighted the character of many local residents who have come together to not only voice their opinions, but keep the ship afloat. The story shows that everyone has an opinion and really highlights how democracy works, especially inside of the local economies where a lot of people are suffering around this holiday season and a lot of people have don't have much to cling on to but some uh, news story or some hopes and prayers that they may even read from the Bible or anywhere. But uh, the good thing about it is that there is hope, and that's why story number eight made it in this week, that locally it may all, it may all entail on what you are thinking and your attitude towards your own job and how you yourself can make a difference this holiday season. Well, those are our top eight local headlines and developing news stories that I made in this week. I'll be right back with the top eight international headlines, so don't go anywhere. In developing news stories, don't go anywhere. You're the mediator with me, Brian West. I'll be right back. Have no fear, fellow citizens. All aboard! <laughs> If you want to check out the stories that almost made it in or did make it in, go to our Twitter feed on our website. Check out everything. All of the sources are there. If you go to the website, it's M E T H O D, the number at INC.com, method 88.com, where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just sponsor the program. 